Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm January Keaton. Growing controversy over Albany's Common Council's cabaret licensing system. Any business that wants to have live entertainment must buy a license from the city. If the establishment serve alcohol, that license could cost up to 500 bucks. And January Keaton joins us with more on that. January. That's exactly right, Elisa. Proper dental health is essential for children. Without it, poor tooth care can cause pain, which can surely become a distraction in school. And with school starting, the New York State Dental Foundation wants to make sure that doesn't happen to Albany County kids. It's always cute when a child loses their teeth to the tooth fairy. Sunday afternoon. Definitely take your umbrella to the track. I sure would. All right, thank you, Andy. Okay. Well, it's time to say goodbye to Michael Phelps, the most decorated Olympian of all time. But what a send-off. Here's ABC's Todd Ant with the Olympic wrap from London. Michael Phelps up the ante. That reported attempted abduction happened last night on Cartwheel Drive in Scotia. Police say a man tried to lure a 10-year-old girl into his car with the promise of candy. In tonight's top story, News 10... Sheriff Apple says the punishment for welfare fraud, it depends on how much money you actually defrauded. It could range from probation and restitution being paid. You can also get substantial state prison time because this is a felony. Now, if anyone knows someone who might be engaging in welfare fraud, I was given a number by Mary Rozak, the woman you just saw there in the piece. She says they have a social services fraud hotline, and that number is 447-7380. You want to call that number if you suspect any one you know of stealing funds from the welfare system. For now, live in Latham, January Keaton, News 10. Hi, January, thank you. Don't want to see anybody miss a day of vacation. And Myers says the airport normally sees roughly 4,000 passengers come through per day. They expect over 5,000 per day over the next few days. So, in order to make your travel experience a bit easier, here are some tips to speed things up at the airport. Have your ID out, coats and shoes off. Take your laptop out of the bag and remove all items from your pockets. And you might want to arrive at least 90 minutes early. And time now to get you caught up on... The riding for Audrey motorcycle run is tomorrow, and it rides through several communities. All proceeds used to fund a reward to find Audrey. Now the family is donating the money to the Center for Hope, which supports families of missing loved ones. For more information on the fund or riding for Audrey, we put a link on our website, news10.com. Click on links and then riding for Audrey. In the newsroom, January Keaton, News 10. Thank you, January. Time to get your caught up. The second around 6 a.m. on 2nd Street. And that's where we find News 10's Taryn Kane. She's live on 2nd Street in Troy with more on these fires. Taryn. January firefighting at the time, but they made it out safely. There were no injuries. A Middleburg man has been charged with DWI after police say he fled the scene of an accident and left his injured passenger behind. Troopers say they responded January? to a call. That's right, Lydia. The Egg Center downtown, an appropriate place for a summit today on dairy, namely yogurt. Governor Cuomo hoping the creamy treat will mean big bucks for New York's struggling dairy farmers. The yogurt yes. industry has been booming in recent years, especially with the introduction of Greek yogurt. O'Donnell. Back to you, January. Thank you so much, Christine. Well, more violence out of Afghanistan tonight as NATO forces suffer another attack by apparent Afghan forces. NATO says a man in an Afghan police uniform has shot and killed. Police investigating a stabbing tonight that sent a man to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police say they found the stabbing victim just before 8 o'clock tonight in the empty lot at 332 Georgetta Dix you know, Plaza. Talking to Sheriff Apple here at the Sheriff's Department really opened my eyes to just how rampant well fair fraud is here in Albany County. Nearly $270,000 stolen, basically, from the county just this year alone. That's just money they know about. Some of these people living lavishly in huge houses, taking money from the people who need it most. This is Gladys Van Dyke. Albany police investigating a stabbing tonight. They say it happened just before 3 a.m. on the 400 block of Clinton Avenue. When officers arrived, they say they located a 32-year-old male with stab wounds to the chest and we abdomen. We need a bit more this upcoming week. That's right. We do need the rain. We're still in a slight deficit, right? Yes, we do. Right. Great day at the track today for you. Yeah, it was. The rain cleared up, so I was happy. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew you were up there, and that's what I said. Well, I hope you guys were happy. Right. So we thank you for joining us tonight at 11. We'll see you right back here tomorrow night at 6. Have a great Have a night. night. Okay.